uh, here in our second stop of the poker run. I meant to start recording earlier, but uh, my dad came down, got the old lady out. I didn't write down that shit that I just said to you, because that was funny. Yeah, that was even, good. That I was a good even, one. I, <laughs> I was on the cover. I was like, oh, hey, yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> guys we're out here we're doing a poker run today we got five spots uh, they're giving away all types of tools and detail stuff and all this we end up at a brewery at the end of the day and there's way more cars than I thought there was gonna be honestly I've been seeing a bunch of them, a bunch of Audis out too and it's a pretty good day but it's seriously it's hot this is 94 there but it's really like like 108 with the humidity and I thought we, we showed up late cuz the traffic and there was a rack so we didn't get to pick any crews to really go out with but we're still having fun it's a good time guys i didn't record much today because it's been so hot and hopping from spot to spot can you say hello you got water crazy hair Nothing but good things from everybody I talked to. Right, we wound up at a brewery. We got some beers. There, but everybody seemed to enjoy themselves. See if we'll win some. We had Guys, as you guys can see here, my dad stole my shirt. Where's the 10 mil at? Right there. 10 mil. One of my favorite shirts. I, didn't I left it. It was. I left stolen. it. You're right. You're right. You're right. It was confiscated <laughs> after a night of imbibing. <laughs> Copious amounts of alcoholic beverages. I found it behind the couch. Yep. Ryland, can you wave? Wave to that. Hello, boogers. <laughs> All the Aldi's over here. All types. So 48 cars showed up. Holy shit. Oh no, I just went behind the building. It's so huge. That's what she said. I'll give it a sec. Man, these mornings. Oops, wrong turn. Wait till you guys see this. Wait for it. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Go way up here to see it. Skirt. Okay, ready? Let's zoom in. Oh my goodness, is that ever gorgeous? Wow. I wish it showed like the detail. Let me pull over. It looks like the line. Like focus on that, man. I wish it showed like the lines. There's a bunch of lines going across it, like horizontally. It's so gorgeous. There's a good morning. One of our last weeks here in Virginia. Watch this sun come up. It is gorgeous. I think half of it's cut off by the clouds. The last couple of days have been, I mean, it looks like I'm in Africa. Oh, we might not be able to get a good one. One of these mornings. Man. Hopefully, we'll be able to film the rest of this video today. But uh, we're loading this bad boy on up soon. We're heading to Texas, San Antonio. Gotta be there by the end of the month. Starting out a different part of this video. It's my birthday. And uh, I just wanna give a shout out to Sean and It's Not Stock. I'm trying to avoid my address up in here. But uh, yeah, Sean sent over some stuff and I haven't opened it yet. Selling this router. We're getting the house all packed up, getting ready for Texas. We just, that's our, uh, our now TV stand or speaker stand as we just sold it. But uh, the old lad, Got me this beautiful card and a HomePod Mini since we're switching from Googles. The Googles have just been messing up. I've had them for so long. I actually joked around about getting this and uh, well, she got it. So that's freaking awesome. And so we make our way to 
to the kid who's crying because she can't have tools. I just got a new pressure washer. I had an electric one and it was okay for a while. It was free, but uh, I just got this bad boy. How sick is that? I just fired it up, 3,200 PSI. Choo, and it's got like a little tank up front for soap. So it automatically puts soap in for you. Pretty sick. And I also got these bad boys. Won't be able to use them until we move, which is like a week away, but got little holders for all my Milwaukee batteries. So now I'll all be able to hang up. How cool is that? If I could get it on with one hand, it'd be great. Oh, maybe this one's not made for that one. Turns out these go a certain way. There's an arrow and I wasn't following it. Boom. Very nice. What is up, my people? Might be asking, why am I standing back here unboxing parts? Well, my daughter's in there watching Elmo and I don't want to get copyrighted. So, um, the other day, this is just a continuance of the birthday stuff here. Sorry, this video is probably going to be all over the place, random stuff, but I want to get a video out this week and sometimes it's just how it goes. But, uh, so for Christmas, the old lady got me 034 brake lines. And I get UPS notifications, which is who it's not soft ships through. So I thought she ordered me more car parts. I get home, we get the bag there in the box, and you know, she you can't, can't hide the giant pressure washer really. So I knew that that was going to be the main gift. My pressure washer uh, was gifted to me by my buddy like years ago, and I've been using it, but it's leaking and it's it was electric, so you had to deal with like the cable and then the hose for it was junk. It was just getting to be pretty bad. So I tossed it out. I was like, I get a new one. When we moved to Texas, which we'll talk about here in a minute, but she wound up getting me that, which is freaking awesome. And then, like I said, our Google Homes are getting old. Uh, a couple of, mo I think all but one of them were free, and they're just starting to act up. Like they don't, the volume doesn't go. When you talk to it, the the assistant is loud, like like the normal volume, but the music won't go up to full volume, and it's crackling. The one's crackling real bad from, I guess, the humidity in the bathroom from being in the bathroom for so long. I like to listen to music in my shower, but. Anyway, we got a gift here from Sean. Woo! And this is perfect because I was running out of these again. Mmm. These, uh, what do we got? White and red. Okay, we got all the flavors. Nice. Sean, brother, I love you. And uh, this looks to be pretty sick too. Should have just kept my knife out. I don't know what's in there. I, I have an idea and I'm like really, really excited that oh yeah oh yeah check that out how freaking cool oh my goodness that is fucking sick brother thank you I love it wow and it's red on the inside this is awesome I'm drinking out this bad boy tonight tonight that's happening what? How cool is that? Can't get out of here for it. Accidentally throw this whole box away. Wow. Man, it's really wild when, you know, I don't know, the internet and then meeting people and becoming good friends with people. It's, uh, it's cool. It's really cool. Let's get this. I have, obviously this is, you know, some kind of without showing my address and phone number. It actually, he put on here, Bryce birthday boy, Schindle Decker. So that's pretty funny. Um, man, and we're about to move. So it sucks. I won't even be able to, oh man, I'm so excited. Oh brother. Oh man, we're gonna have to, yes, we're gonna have to frame this. Oh my God. Heard it. It's gonna be hard to show you guys. I don't. I can't see the screen, so I don't know where to stand to get this at full. I guess I could just crop it in. I'm getting bit. Ah, mosquitoes. Oh my god, dude. What? This is really cool because Kaylin has gotten me similar things for uh, my golf. So this is the first one I have. I don't want to like put my chin on it because I'm sweaty. Let's see if we can kind of fold it out here. Check that out. 
How freaking cool is that? I'm gonna have to go in there and put it on the table and get a good picture of it. Look at the detail. Like this is, that is sick, bro. Oh my goodness. All right, try and uh, ignore Elmo and the noise in the background, but sick. Check that out. How, I cannot wait to frame this. The colors are perfect, bro. Sean, you are the man, buddy. Thank you so much. Well, guys, it's starting to rain, so I guess I'll hop here in the M3 and just sit. Um, so, the old lady got orders to, well, actually, she got accepted for retraining, so she's going into contracting, and on top of re-enlistment, she was able to basically get them to uh, give her orders to any, someplace on our top 10, a number... So the only one that I picked off the list was San Antonio, like me specifically. I think we picked one through seven or, you know, one through six or seven of like, were places we would both like to go. And then number eight was mine. I think she picked two places that I didn't really care to go to. And the only place on the list, or the only one on the list, obviously you can only pick one, but the one that I picked won. So uh, it was supposed to be in November. And then they changed it to January, and then they moved it up to August last month. So it went from having two, three months until we moved to like six months to like, oh, never mind, end of August. So um, we already found someone to rent this house out to, thankfully. And we also have another house out in New Mexico, and now we gotta find a third house to buy, which is awesome, I'm super excited. Now this is probably the worst time ever to even try and buy a house with the way interest rates are, and this, that, and the third, but I really don't want to go to Texas and pay somebody else's, you know, mortgage. That's not, we want to have like a whole slew. We're trying to get to have 10 houses by the time our daughter Ryland graduates. And so we got probably like 16 and a half years to get to that point. So right now we're looking for a house. We already have hotel paid for with her first couple months that we're there since she's technically going to school. And, uh, and then we get like an extra month uh, based on moving in general. So we have three months paid in the hotel to find a house. So we have that much time. We're also gonna have to put all an entire house basically in storage, which sucks. And then she'll be trailering this with her truck and I'll be trailering my car with the U-Haul truck. And uh, we're gonna take our good old time getting to Texas. We leave uh, less than two weeks now. <laughs> we'll be already about halfway there two weeks from now. So there's that. Yeah, I'm super excited. I applied for a couple of different jobs. I'm hoping I get the Cummins job down there, but uh, you know, I'm thinking if I don't find something that's worth my pay, maybe I'll just use my GI Bill, go back to school, uh, maybe get into either, I really would like to get into CAD because I'd like to design and make my own parts, which I think would be sick. Um, stuff to get cut out, you know, like with lasers or CNC machine or anything like that. Like I've really, um, like my buddy Alex Hard, he just made up this whole thing to like uh, ducting for his oil cooler. It turns out his oil cooler, like all the air coming out the back of the, the oil cooler was heating up the cold side of his inner cooler, making his intake air temps be like 50 degrees above ambient. And all it took was some ducting and he saw a 50, I think 58% reduction in air intake temps all just because of ducting his um, oil cooler, which is crazy. So like, that's just shit like that I really like. And I, re I want to like divorce the oil from the coolant from the DSG on my car and then run, get rid of the aux um, radiator and put a trans cooler in since we don't get one, add an oil cooler and then upgrade the main radiator to CSF. And I think that will fix any cooling issues I'll have in the future, but then have ducting for all that and the intercooler to make sure that all the air is going in through the fins, not around them, and then being routed out. And we'll also do hood vents to go with the, you know, the main shroud for the uh, condenser, intercooler, and radiator. Uh, let that air escape out the bay. I want to do the, you know, the fender ones. And then if you guys follow, follow Kyle Gurney, um, that's the level I want to be on with, with arrow and ducting and, and all that good jazz. Um, really looking up to Kyle. He's doing big badass things and 
I wish I could be out there hitting the big track days, but you know, with having my daughter and then you know this whole military life, I'm in the guard, so I'm also having to transfer to the Texas Guard, which is a thing in itself. And I uh, finally got a good job here at Langley, civil service, doing the same job I do in the Air Force, which is generators. I work generators now. Um, you know, as soon as I get this good job, a couple months later, now we're moving again. It sucks, but hopefully we can make Texas our long-term home. And I'm super excited. I got friends all around the San Antonio area. Um, I got tons of friends in Dallas, Houston, Amarillo, Lubbock. We're not really too close to those places, but it, at least we'll be back in the, you know, we could take a, week, a long weekend and go up to Amarillo or down to Houston or up to Dallas or right over to Austin and, and see Joe Rogan. Like, that's a big thing. My, I, me and my dad and my brother are planning on getting tickets to go see Joe Rogan as soon as possible. Big Joe Rogan fans. We'd love to go out there to the mothership and see a show. And you never know what comedian's going to pop up out there. And plus all the concerts and stuff. Like, any type of music that I want to see live is going to be in that area. Which and, and here, too, a lot of people. I've seen Jason Aldean. I got to meet Wiz Khalifa last year on my birthday, actually, and see Logic. I've seen, uh, who else do we see out here? Brett, Brett Young or something. We've been to a handful of concerts out here that were really nice. But, uh, you know, we'll have that same kind of thing in San Antonio. We're going to a, a bigger city with better infrastructure. We're not right up here against the water with the beaches and the traffic and all the bases. And hopefully it's better. It's going to be a little bit hotter there, but also a little less humid. Um, but the cost of housing there is cheaper. Like per square footage, comparatively, Texas is like fifty thousand dollars cheaper for like a twenty-seven hundred square foot house or so. Um, what else? Gas prices are cheaper. I don't think electric is going to be any cheaper. Honestly, I don't know. We need to get out there to really see. But I'm freaking excited. You guys know I love Texas. I did all my a lot of my big videos growing this channel were made in Texas, even though I lived in New Mexico. But, uh, I'm finally happy I'll be able to get a Texas plate and have a Texas license and actually like be a Texan, you know, a big Texas guy. Anyway, that's all I got. Hopefully this video was halfway decent. You need to get in here, uh, get some shit done, get our loan application all figured out. So thanks for watching guys. Back to more next weekend will be essentially my, my last weekend and we're going to go out racing and get some more clips. I have been building this um, street racing video for you guys for when we leave Virginia and uh, well we know Texas has got plenty of that uh, anyway looking forward to doing Coda while I'm there and going up near uh, what is it uh, near Dallas there's other tracks up there and of course all the all the street racing and autocross and I'm just super excited anyway uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the flip-flop